Hi everyone, welcome to my tutorial on how you can add a yes or no dialog box to your Excel macros alongside a message which you can also define. Okay, so what this does is when you try and execute a macro, it will give the user a dialog box which will give them the option to either press yes or no based on the message that you give them. If the user presses yes, a certain selection of code you define can run. If they say no, something else can occur. So this is really useful if the users of your spreadsheet may not be familiar with all the macros that you've implemented. Some macros that you have created may do some things which are irreversible and you want to give that user a warning before they go ahead, or you just want to give them a heads up of what a specific macro does before they actually execute that. Now, if you are brand new to Excel macros, I have put a guide together, which is in the link in the description below. So if you are brand new and some of the things that aren't familiar to you, please go and follow that guide. It will get you up and running with how to use macros from uh, enabling them through to putting your command buttons in and editing the code um, for other macros as well. So you can really tailor things to your needs. So that'll be in the description below on the website. What I've also done is put this uh, guide in a written format on the website as well, which will also be linked below. So please feel free to check those out uh, just to get on, your, on up to speed. So I'll make a start. First of all, I'm just going to explain exactly uh, how this works. So in our example that we've put here, our macro inserts a new row and it also formats the grid lines. So it, it basically uh, puts grid lines into that as well. So what it will do before we do that is it will give you the option for yes or no with a message that we've defined which exactly explains what that macro will do. So I'm just going to show you how this works. So we're just going to run this macro. You will see that we have a dialog box. We have a message. This macro will insert a new row. Are you sure you wish to continue? And a yes or no option. If we press yes, it's going to go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to show you how this works. Okay, you can see that our macro has been added in. Okay, our new rows there. If we was to press no, nothing happens at all, which is the intention behind this macro. Okay, so how do we do that? So first of all, I'm just going to show you the code. So I'll go into developer, design mode, double click our button. That should open up the code for us. Okay, here we can see the code that we're working with. Now, I will put this in its entirety down in the description below. So if you are struggling to follow along, then feel free to check below. It's also in the tutorial on the website as well. So, first of all, we have yes, no equals message box. And we have our message that we want to type here. So, what I've highlighted here is the message that I've typed in between the parentheses. So if you wanted, for instance, to change this to reflect what your macro does, maybe your macro automatically saves your documents and it's irreversible, you could basically say, this macro will save the document. This is irreversible. Do you wish to continue? This is where you would type your message for what the dialog box displays. So it's completely editable. So feel free to edit that part for your own personal needs. You will then see Underneath, we have case VB yes, and we have some code that's displayed beneath there. Now, case VB yes is what the macro will execute if the user presses yes. And in our case, it executes this following code here. Okay, it's just our insert row code. Now, under VB no, you will see there is no code. Okay, and that's because when the user presses no in our case, we don't want anything to happen at all. So, for your macro code, what you want to put in, if the user says yes, goes beneath VB yes. What you want to happen if they press no, goes beneath VB no. The rest of the code can be completely left unedit unedited. Okay, I hope that's been helpful. Like I mentioned, feel free to visit the guys below if you struggle to keep up with this. If you have found these videos useful, please drop a comment or a like. It always helps us out as well. Thanks guys, see you next time.